When I was 15, I attempted to walk to the North Pole. It was my first serious polar expedition. Gradually, conditions turned against us. It was just me and Doug. Doug turned around. He said, we're not going to make it. It was the worst moment of my life. And I, and I couldn't deal with it. I couldn't handle the idea of being the guy who tried once, failed, and never did it again. There was so much expectation, and it took me a long time to get over that. That whole process was defining moment that has actually led to this expedition. Because without all of the lessons that I had learned in that time, none of all of this would have been possible. So, uh, welcome to the pod. I'm a little bit behind schedule, and I'm sorry about doing this interview in the car, but uh, you know, it's all we have right now, where every minute counts. So we are at our fifth sampling site, uh, about 330 kilometers from the South Pole. We're about 40, 50 kilometers from the, from the top of the Leverett Glacier. We've woken up this morning, and it's a, a beautiful day, only about minus 15, which is relatively balmy. Now we can see where we're going, and it's a good weather. Traveling all night, I think. We're in Antarctica. This is pretty, pretty awesome. It's not always going to be beautiful, sunshiny weather. It's going to be wind in the face every day, especially up this glacier. You saw how big some of the streak you got on the drive. You know, it's going to be brutal. You want to just give the camera away? Uh, we had part this morning, had some breakfast, and now they're raring to go. Vivid hallucinations and fantasies about food. This is the crux. This is the crux. We always said that. Yep. Initially, I had envisaged this being a much more happy camp. Medically speaking, things haven't gotten a lot better. The rash got a lot worse, almost to the point I couldn't walk. Parker, uh had a little bit of a, you know, sort of breakdown yesterday. I just, I can barely breathe. I don't know how to swear this thing can handle. Nature rules and you know she's gonna throw everything at us and you know sometimes I think we need a little bit more focus you know, we'll uh, get there you know it's just uh, just need to keep on moving get up in the morning and get out of the tent and, and start skiing now we only have 11.2 miles to the South Pole so excited to make this final turn around the South Pole runway and towards the pole, we're about two and a half miles out. Just coming around the runway right now, and then it's a straight shot. <laughs> Say. <sighs> yeah, I can't believe we're here. So a lot of emotions. 